Hello and welcome, I'm Daniela Filova and I would like to invite you to our company which is in Darlington Locomotive Works. It's, this, it's in this building and we are building a steam engine here which is of the P2 class and it's going to be the biggest steam locomotive built in Britain. We are in the office of Arthur Peppercorn who was the chief designer and he built this A1 class steam locomotive and now at the same place but later in a history we are building the P2 class uh, which was designed by Sir Nigel Grizzly uh, there were six steam locomotives of this class built in the past and none of them survived till these days. So we would like to recreate it to build a new one. It's a completely newly built engine with new parameters and we would like to operate it on the main line. In the 21st century we are using still imperial units. So for us as engineers, it's more difficult, but I'm getting used to it. We appear in different magazines or in national television. All important parts are in place, except the complex valve system. one view from underneath to show you the complexity how do you feel um, using new technology in creating this uh, uh, model that is representing old technology well to be honest I can't imagine that I'm doing it just uh, using the old technology of of paper and ink. And that's I'm, the original drawing. That is the original drawing, and I can't imagine myself of drawing it the old-fashioned way, so everything will fit together and it will work. I strongly rely on a cut and on a computer and I'm quite happy that I can use it. So, uh, you can see that the engine looks like, looks almost complete, let's say, to a far extent, but for example, the heart of the engine, the boiler, which generates a steam, it's still missing. What you can see on the engine is just a cladding, which is the outer shell, shell and but the inner part, the boiler itself, it's still missing. Today is uh, Sunday and people are not working, but when they are working it's um, uh, plenty of noise here. Yes, it is. And but it, it's a nice noise because it's a noise of newly built engine. When it's uh, going to be uh, ready? Well, we are following our strict schedule and we are expecting it to be finished in a few years time. You need to put a tire on as like a normal car has got tires so steam engines got their own tires as well you can see them here and 
this this part goes on a travels on a rail and when it's worn you can machine it again but when the wheel will became too small you need to take them off and put a new set of tires on another task we need to to do is with these cannon boxes there are bearings and we need to set the right side clearance so it's been calculated already and if everything will go fine we can finally place these wheel sets underneath the engine yeah this is the original building of a wagon works of a darlington wagon works uh, from the uh, eight, late 18th century and so the small goods wagons were built here in past and now we are building the steam engine here so we have the continuation in our history this is a miniature model yes it will be placed on a roundabout in the center of a town of Darlington for, for children to, to test well actually for everyone who will be passing through Darlington <laughs> Uh, so every every train uh, has uh, her own name. Yes, and so these uh, flags are called headboards. So every time the tornado, our first steam engine, is on a main line, it carries the headboard with the name of the train. Building uh, steam. Uh engines and locomotives used to be a huge industry. It doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. But you are here building um, new ones just for because you are railway enthusiasts to make the history living. Yes, and I have to say that it won't be possible without a big help of our supporters, of our volunteers and our covenanters because the whole project is funded uh, by public. So I hope you have enjoyed a visit here today uh, in Darlington at uh, Darlington Locomotive Works and I hope that you like our engine and maybe you came became our supporter. <laughs>